Oh my. Oh my. Um. Okay. So I had to run some errands, including picking up a whole bunch of stuff from a friend who's cleaning out her mom's house. And so I've got some things that are going to go to the booth. And I wasn't really thinking too far ahead that, oh yeah, I'll just stop at a thrift store on my way back. So I kind of have a full car, but you know, here's how I find them. You go to Google and you type in thrift stores near me and pull up the map and see what it brings you. And I had forgotten about the Salvation Army that I'm gonna go in here as soon as they open. They're not open yet for another eight minutes. Um, but I've shopped here plenty of times, but it's been, well, it's been over a year, I can tell you that much. Um, but I have found good things in the Salvation Army in the past, so I'm kind of excited to get in there and see what I can find. So. I'm going to sit here in my car in the air conditioning just a little bit and wait for them to unlock those doors and go in and see what I can find. And away we go. I'm going to go over. There's, this all used to be full of stuff. It's not got anything in it anymore. Peeking the case over here. Peek on the little shelves over here. I do really, really, really have to be picky because I don't have a lot of room in the car. So we're looking for super special stuff today. This just, I want to point out, you'll see this a lot and it will actually sell. Um, and when you describe it, call it watermelon because it's got the cranberry and the green. Uh, this one's $3.99. You can see it is not Murano. It's got that cloudy bottom. But it, it's actually a fairly good selling piece. It sells in the yeah, $12 to $15 range. Um, but it does sell, so people like it. So there you go. We've got a nice little area here that's furniture. I don't think I've ever, ever bought furniture new. I think I've always gotten it either at auctions or at thrift stores. Uh, because you can find such great stuff at great prices. All right, we're going to peruse the art because I think I could squeeze art <laughs> into the car. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't look at art, but I can't help myself. All right, it's really hard to look at art one-handed. I will tell you that much. A meal without wine. It's called breakfast. And the bird is nice. The bird print is nice. It's large though, as you can see. It's much harder to sell large pieces of art. People just don't have the space. And it's, you know, we're I don't know, are we out of the minimalist kind of thing? Are people going back to decorating with more stuff? Because we went through this real minimalist phase that people were just not putting stuff on the walls and they weren't doing knickknacks. I think we're kind of coming out of that and people are decorating more. I always see a lot of art that you can tell has been in a window and it's really super faded. Fading is definitely not desirable. And I'm thinking, nope, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting in the art. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's called School Days Photography by Lane County Pioneer Museum. This is a reprint that's obviously not an original. It's got some damage. 
neat subject matter though. I do like that. Looking down here, because these are kind of smaller, smaller things there. The print. I was trying to see. Oh, it's a kitty. See, I saw the tail. That's what I was getting to to figure out what was there. What was there? All right, let's look at. Ooh, that's pretty. What I'm really looking for is, you know, that hidden piece that's worth mega bucks. And I'm not I'm not seeing it today. But if you don't look, you're never going to find it. So you have to look. What are these? No. Lots of like we have lots of like hotel art around here too. Hotels change out and then get all the stuff. All right. Oh, that's a nice print. It's um, is it an engraving or an etching? You'd have to get below this matting and see uh, if there's an impression on the page. It's Le Coros. It's kind of, it's really nice subject matter. Ah, oh, the glare, the glare. Sorry about the glare. No, I got windows behind me, so it's really hard to show it to you. It's really nice though. Um, this one's pretty nice too. That's like a book plate. All right, they get some nice art. All right, let's hit the shelves. I don't know why lately I am really, really drawn to these little purple flowers. I just bought some other ones. Now they've stuck some stuck some other ones in there but these is this supposed to be lavender is that what that is $3.99 I think I will get this I will take these big things out use them on something else and have my little thing of lavender for the porch okay let's see anything else exciting on the shelf Ooh, I, I like these little <clears throat> they're little what do you call that? What do you call it when they're like all like speckly like that? It's beads. It's cute. I just don't know. It's not really sugared. Is it sugared? I don't know. Is that the term I'm looking for that doesn't quite fit? Maybe it's it and it doesn't quite fit so I'm leaning towards not using it. Oh, that's like glitter shells. We don't need glitter shells. I got empty. Empty shelves. Don't like empty shelves. Oh, we've got some. We have some little art glass fish. They are three ninety nine. Um, they're nothing spectacular. These sell, you know, depending on size. You know, in the twelve to twenty dollar range, these are probably closer to like twelve to fifteen. Um, I'm not gonna pick them up because. Yeah, I just, they're not special enough, you know. I mean, they're cute, they're nice. Uh, if I needed inventory, I would pick them up, but I will leave them here for someone else. It kind of matches the stuff on my porch and I'm kind of leaning towards getting it to add another little spot of color. So, okay, I'm gonna get that one for $1.99, but it's for me. This is a neat little basket for 99 cents. Uh, I don't really need it, but I do really like the look of it. And I think it has some age on it. So for 99 cents, I'm going to pick it up. All right. Now I got to be careful because I don't have room in the car. It's a really cute little seashell candles. Very, very cute. Ooh, that is a big melon jug. I like it. Piñatas. This is something that rock, oh, it's an Avon Wellness rock waterfall that I'm not gonna, it looks like something's missing though. Eh, we're not. We're not gonna tear it apart. Somebody's already done a fine job of that. 
are these? These are Zuru Five Surprise. Mmm. Don't know. What are these? They're bananas. They're bananas. That's what it says. Includes one figure, one vine, one sticker, two little friends, and seven gemstones. You know, curiosity is like, oh, here's one. Somebody did open one. Okay, so, oh, it looks like somebody's been stealing the banana stuff out of there. Well, that's a shame. Oh my gosh. Their bananas are totally getting wiped out. I probably will let them know that. So digging in like these little buckets of stuff here, I just found these. They are Griffin Pink All Pinking Shears. Like brand spanking new. I don't know if they're actually unused. It, nah, they look like they've been used. But someone kept them in their original box. And that is just cool. And uh, see, made in Japan. 99 cents. We're going to pick those up. Well, I pulled this out of there. Um, I thought this might have some value. So I went ahead and looked it up. And it's a Lego clock radio. But they only sell for like... 12 to $15. So 2009, so not quite vintage. So that was surprising. All right, I'm going to dig a little more, see what I can find. All right, nothing else there. So we have moved on to the next aisle. Well, we've got vases, got some bathroom stuff. Is that? Oh, it's a print that looks like a needlepoint. I thought it might be a needlepoint, but it's not. It's just a print. Caricature. All right, I don't see anything else on that line. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see what you little guys are. You don't look like anything fancy. Made in China. We want made in Japan, not made in China. So we'll leave you. We're going to leave uh, Creepy Surfer Dude, too. Let's see what else we got down here. Up here. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is interesting. I think this is a wine holder. Oh. It looks possibly made in Israel, but I'm not not seen anything on it. Oh, yep, there we go. Jerusalem. Um, I don't see a price, so we're going to find out how much that is because that is pretty darn interesting. Let me get it on a plain background so you can see what it looks like. This looks like, oh, there's no coasters in it. It is empty. This is a newer perfume bottle. There's another one of these art glass diffuser balls. Four dollars on that one, so I think I'm gonna pass. They're moving a rack, so it's a little bit noisy at the moment. Kind of interesting, it's a it even says, simply shabby chic. It's a bank from Target. Alrighty then. Oh my, hello. Oh, don't you look like you're getting into trouble. 99 cents for the little mischievous pixie. Uh, you are coming with us. Alright, now we're getting into some... Christmassy stuff, and I spot these guys. We've got gnome coasters for 99 cents. We will pick up the gnome coasters, and hopefully, I can show them to you without all that glare. That's a little better. And then I spot these bird plates. I think they're just painted. I thought for a minute they might be fused glass but they're not. They're just painted. Ugh. What to do? No, I think I'm going to leave them. Set them a bit a little pickier today. 
There's just simply no room in the car to not be picky today. All right, I think I got everything I needed on this aisle. Okay, now we're by all the little salt and peppers. This would have been a nice little find had it had the bottom, because this is, this is, I want to say it's cut glass, but now I'm not sure. It's not quite sharp enough to be cut, but that would have been a nice piece. I do like that. But um, what I was really spotting on the shelf with these, I was going to say they have a very Fitz and Floyd look to them, and sure enough, they are Fitz and Floyd. Oh, darn it. That one does have a chip, but you know what? For 99 cents, I'm still going to pick them up and put them in my live sale because I know somebody is going to love them. Okie dokie. This is a interesting little warmer thing there. I just I like the lines to it. Oh my. Oh my. Um, okay. All right, I'm not spotting a whole lot here. I do like the color of this little cake stand. But it's, you know, it's just, it's nothing that I can't find on another day. I guess that's really the key is, you know, am I gonna spot it again soon? This looks, I wanna say, um, Wood, Wood and Sons. I, th I have one very similar. Uh, $1.99. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I do like the look of this and it is vintage. And then I spotted this. This is 1930s Federal Glass. This little refrigerator box is $0.99. Cents, and this one is $5.99. I did already peek um, because I knew it was heavy to pick up one-handed. It's got the vegetables on the lids. These are in fantastic condition, and we are gonna pick those up. All right, now we're gonna peek through the dishes, and I'm really not motivated to buy any dishes today, but you have to look, you have to look, because you just never know what's gonna be mixed in somewhere in all of this, so you gotta give it a peek. Maybe even look at a couple and see what it is. That's false graph. And it's actually made in USA false graph. Nice pattern. I don't know who these guys are, but they're Christmas. They are Masterpiece Porcelain, first edition, 1999. Hmm. But I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated today came over here to the mugs and I spot this little guy and I just can't stand it. He needs to be with his friends. So we're going to take a little walk and we're going to go find his little fishy friends over here and we're going to return him to his little school. There you go, buddy. All right, and now we're back to the mugs to see what's actually over here in the mugs. And I don't see too much. Actually, I don't see anything in the mugs. So let's look at some of the glasses. See what we can find. I have got to put my black backdrop up and take pictures of all of the glasses and the clear glass things that I have purchased recently because I'm getting behind. I'm just getting behind. I'm gonna look at this because it kind of has a Fitz and Floyd look to it, but it's not, it is unbranded. It is an unbranded bunny plate. So we will leave that. Okie dokie. And then I spot this piece of Tupperware. It's some kind of a keeper. It's got a little thing in there to keep something fresh. I don't know if it's not worth anything. I can use that for my uh, tortoise greens that need to stay fresh. Oh, it's 99 cents. Can't beat that for vintage Tupperware. And we're going to peruse the linens. <laughs> this kind of caught my eye. Do they still do this? Put the little floofs, little floofs into the quilts, comforters. 
I had one of those. It's not too bad. It's nothing horribly exciting though. Leslie, Leslie K, I think is what that says. Yeah, this just doesn't grab me. Doesn't grab me. All right, nothing there. Taking a peek up at the pillows. Nothing really exciting me there. I, it, there are two of these. Actually, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna take a closer look because there's two of them. Because outdoor pillows right now are a thing and these have outdoor pillow feel to them, but there's no tag. So let me grab this one and then I'm gonna grab the other one and we're gonna see if we can find a price and find a tag. No, nope, no tag on this one either. I mean, I can just tell by the fabric, these are really high quality, heavy upholstery fabric pillows. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. I don't know how much they are, but I'm sure they're reasonable. Be sure you stay to the end for the recap and I will tell you exactly how much I paid for everything and what it's worth. I was passing by this row of clothes and these just caught my eye. Um, those are uh, interesting. What do you call these? They're made in Thailand. Look at that. Uh, they're kind of cool. I think their clothes are really cheap here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up. One of these days I'll get my Poshmark going again and get those listed. Well, that's it. That's my little take for the day. And, oh, I didn't even notice what color tags I got. They were orange, they're 50% off. So let's hope there's some orange in there, but I am heading to go check out now and see if I can get all this stuff loaded in the car. Yep, I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. I just spent $38, I think the total was, and um, but I got some good things. I mean, literally, that one big refrigerator box from Federal Glass is worth 30, 30, 35 bucks. So that pretty much pays for all of it, and then the rest is gravy. Um, she charged me $5.99 for the funky little pair of pants, and $5.99 for the Jerusalem wine holder. What else wasn't priced? I think that was it that didn't have a price, right? Oh, the pillows. The pillows were $2.99 each. $2.99 each on the pillows. I think those are the things that needed prices. So, um, not bad. Not bad. Now, I'm going to drop some things off at the post office and get myself home because as I am filming this, it is live sale day. And... For those of you who may not know, every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I do a live auction right here on the channel. You just bid in the comments and all you have to do is just show up and you can be part of the fun. Uh, again, that's 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Was that 3 p.m. Central? I think so. 
And uh, yeah. And if you want to participate, there's directions down in the description for sending me some information so that you're good to go. That's just your YouTube name. Because when you type in the chat, I see your YouTube name. I don't see your real name and I need to have those two connected. So I need your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code because I need your zip code in order to send you an invoice. Also, if you ever see anything in one of my videos that you would like to purchase, please again, just little description down here that says how to do that. You just send an email, but it's super important that you send me either a little screenshot of the item or give me the video name and the timestamp that the item is in, along with your offer. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Now, with that, I'm gonna get home. So you, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.